Welcome back to the Mad Lizard RC. So, back at it with the Sonic 48. What I'm doing is making a new ESC mount right here so I can run, eventually run a Castle Hydra XL X2 for the boat. And it's not because I wanted to make go faster because of a different ESC. That usually is not how it works. Um, basically, it just allows you to pull some more amps and um, versus from 160 to you know this guy more amps and um, i've actually logged over 400 amps before on an esc like this so right now doing a plate conversion right there i got three different propellers i first want to try on the spectrum you see here so you know i'm gonna put the in the spectrum back in here run this on three more uh three more propellers and verse you know, before going over to the hydra and the Hydra, again, is just for the data logging and the RPMs and because it's going to help me really be able to tune the boat out a little bit farther and, and um, you know, get some measurements. So that's what I'm kind of more after off that. I'm still going to keep it for it, uh, keep it AS and just kind of keep pushing and see what I can because a lot of that data is going to be helpful to try to find the right propeller. You know, I'm still running, you know, the APC prop on there. I'll have three other different ones. I got the little bit longer trim tabs, as you can see. You know, stainless steel, it's got a little jester on there. And these originally were three inch. I cut them down to two and a half. And, you know, I had to kind of, you know, re-drill, make my holes. You know, I found these just on, from an online store. So I'm going to get the uh, Spectrum right, in so there. I'll be right back. Back with getting the stock Spectrum ESC back in there, as you can see right there. Uh, I did get some yellow straps. You know, yellow strap over that because I'm running the carbon fiber plate. Also you know sticky tape underneath that too so this is just in preparation so when after i'm done running a few more props on the stock system then i'm going to put the castle in here um and so that way i can just get the data off um, how the boat is running on all the different propellers and help kind of gauge for setup and tuning of this thing so you know i got one battery in here with the straps and i was still kind of working on the other one so i'm still doing a little more tweaking um and so, you know, I got one prop here, ABC. Then I got three more here, you know, a three blade to try, two more two blades to try. And so um, kind of a little more tuning with the boat, try to figure out kind of where it all stands and then, and see what I can come up with so far. It's been, you know, handling pretty good. I've been running batteries all the way back, you know, especially with the SMCs, even with the 6200s, I've been running all the way back with this setup here. Um, been staying pretty well planted, not really bouncing at all. So the slightly longer trim tabs seem to kind of, you know, take care of that, that slight issue. So anyways, so coming soon, up next would be uh, the running of, you know, this guy here soon, a couple more days, I'm gonna get this all buttoned up. You know, currently I just came back from uh, doing some vacationing out towards Las Vegas, checking out the Nationals. And, you know, that is was really cool watching all those different boats run like that. from the electrics to the gas and then you know i went down there to check it out so that way i can do some competing coming up here soon you know i do a lot of racing with my club where i'm at so you know i wanted to kind of grasp what all was going on uh to check it out see how the race platform goes the racing and you know what else is out there and i seen a really nice boat that i really liked i talked to a couple people um within a few different areas and one of them you know, I really liked and with, you know, with a couple hours talking to him, really nice guy, uh, basically got me convinced to going into gas. So coming soon, I will be adding, a uh, pretty soon I'll be adding a new gas boat. So it's going to be um, a 48 inch mono um, gasoline two stroke motor, 26 cc is what I'm going to start off with. Uh, checked with my, my local club so I can run it. And so, you know, that's going to be a fun build coming up and I'll kind of go from there. Um, so, you know, this is gonna be a little bit of a new experience going from electric to, you know, I'm gonna be having, you know, a gas as well. 
And it's not like because I want to, you know, I favor gas over electric. It's just, you know, there's, you know, they both have their pluses and advantages. You know, where I live out in Washington State, um, there, I got a lot of lakes that are nice, you know, perfect for RC boats. But a lot of it is based down to electric, you know, no gasoline. So, you know, that one I have to run in only like two places I know of that um, I can probably run that that boat because you know it is loud you know two stroke tune pipe and everything like that so i just don't want to go be you know pissing off some of the people that i do you know run at and trying to be at least considerate so but yeah so the sonic coming up that and the gas is going to be coming soon um that's going to be a fun build um i'm going to be you know kind of green into that one but it's going to be a good learning experience it's going to be fun so you know why you know doing that finishing up the recoil the sonic um you know my sea deucer got built seen that already do a little more tuning um i am slowly you know i decided to thin out some of the collection and make up some room for this new gas one that's coming in so you know i got my 10 shock here mini mono it's been a great boat ran it probably like 10 times or whatnot um got the added turn fin on the side so i'm actually put this guy up for sale um so basically two batteries radio i just threw in the you know the extra radio i had to kind of be able to um, you know, it's kind of support a better RTR type of situation. So I'm letting that guy go for like two, $320. And then I'll slowly, I'm going to go through what else boats I have. And, um, just kind of thin out the collection and make some extra money so I can support, you know, that doing a gas because I'm expecting at least, you know, $2,000 to build the gas one by the time everything's said and done. So anyways, well, thanks for watching. Um, if you want to see more, please like and subscribe um, and more that's coming.